In this video, we are just asked to convert everything to polar coordinates. The easy one I immediately see R squared over here. So the integral is definitely going to be integral integral R squared raised to the three halves. And then don't forget the formula R dr d theta, just like a pirate. R. Now we need to figure out everything else. So that was the easy part and only because we know that x squared plus y squared is r squared. What is happening with the square root? And then how should we figure out the shape? So this is x equals and x equals. So let's write down carefully. x equals a square root of 4 minus y squared. That means we're working with a circle x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared, right? That is a circle, radius 2. So radius 2 centered at 0. But remember, we started with only positive or 0 x. So we have a right part of the circle only, because x have to be positive or 0. But at least we know that r is from 0 to 2. Now, and assess that, as you can see, from 0 to the positive square root. So from here to here, from here to here. So this is the right half of the circle, hemicircle. Y is changing from minus 2 to 2, which is exactly what matches here, from minus 2 to 2. How to describe this in polar? Very easy. Radius, as we already mentioned, stuck between 0 and 2. Theta only performs half of the circle rotation from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. From minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. And the integral is ready. Let's finish integration. Technically speaking, you can actually just find this part and multiply by 2. The calculations will be easier if you want to. So it's going to be 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2. Actually, I'm not sure if it gives the same answer, but I think it should. And then integral from 0 to 2. I will check at the end. Radius squared raised to the 3 halves is simplified to just r cubed times r dr d theta. Let's see what's going to happen here. 2 from 0 to pi over 2, from 0 to 2, r to the 4 dr theta. That gives me 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2, r to the 5 over 5 from 0 to 2 d theta. 2 fifths. The result of 2 plugging into the r gives you 2 to the 5 minus 0 to the 5 times theta plug pi over 2 minus 0 gives you pi over 2. So my final answer became, let me see if it matches the result I need, 2 to the 5 over 5 pi. Perfect, it actually matches the solution I need. 32 over 5 pi, which is approximately 20.106. Amazing work, super fast, very good integral, very nice example for the exam, because it's fast to do, and you just need to draw really fast. This information we gave you, that x is running from a function to a function, Function x equals 0 is actually y-axis. Here it is. That is x equals to 0. So the x is running from the left wall, x equals 0, to the right hemicircle. And it's running, so it means it's filling in everything, right? While y is fixed from minus 2 and 2. Here's my y. Thus, we figure out this idea from this picture. You see that angle is running from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 or from 0 to pi over 2 and then you just double the result. That's what I did here due to symmetry. Symmetry. And 
radius is only stuck between 0 and 2. And that's what gave me the integral we have in, over here from 0 to 2 pi over 2. From 0 to 2, r squared raised to the 3 halves was simplified to the r cube. And then r dr d theta is part of the formula and doubled due to the symmetry. Originally, we had from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Good job if you understand this or slow down and think about it to make it better. See you next time.